dobrodošli u novu epizodu emisije Space Show. Nadam se da niste gladni, jer danas pričamo o hrani. U svemiru. Sljedeće godine astronaut Evropske svemirske agencije Aleksandar Gerst iz Nemačke po drugi put će boraviti na Međunarodnoj svemirskoj stanici. Pripreme su uvelike u toku, a ovog leta je prilikom boravka u svemirskom centru Johnson u Houstonu testirao hranu koja je razvijena za potrebe ove misije. Zahvaljujući iskustvu sa svog prethodnog dugotrajnog boravka u orbiti, Aleksandar je pomagao nutricionistima da pripreme obroke koje će on poneti sa sobom u svemir. Food is something that's really underestimated down here on the ground. Like people go like, oh yeah, I'm going to fly to space, so I don't care what food I take. It's not bad. Well, you start caring about that one month into the mission, and then if you made the wrong decisions, it's, it's, a, it's a hard remaining five months. This is mainly to trigger my memory for the food that I already had, and now I can make the choices based on how I remember them. And then there's a few new ones in between. For them, I have to sort of guess. There's still debate if the taste actually changes uh, the actual taste buds, if people perceive taste differently. Uh, my personal opinion is we don't, I think it's the same, but the cravings change, and that is really hard to predict. Right now, I might not care so much for broccoli and cauliflower, but up there, I really liked it. I, because it's, it's pretty protein loaded, what we have, we have a lot of uh, meats. And then I try to add anything that reminds me of something green. Let's put it that way. I mean, those beans, they, yeah. <laughs> they don't resemble uh, beans a lot, but they actually taste really nice. Oh, we didn't have blueberries last time, right? We had right. raisins. Mm. That stuff is awesome. Last time I got a few Russian bonus containers. They also have very, very good food. Their food is more succulent, like they have more more grease in there, also more spices, also more salt, which is not so good for the bones. So I try not to eat so much of it. The American food or the European food is, is more healthy, I would say. Uh, but once in a while it, it's really satisfying to just open one a can of this really uh, succulent, savory Russian food, and I absolutely enjoyed it. It's really good. On my last uh, expedition we tried to have the meals all together. The U.S. crew, the European crew together, uh, we always had meals together when, when we could. And then on the weekends we would gather, like the six of us. Either the Russians would invite us to their segment or we would invite them. And then we have the big table and everybody brings something together and it's kind of this medley. That's important. Uh, this, those are the relaxation moments. Uh, you can take your time, you put music on and you chat about how your week went. And it's the last thing that I have for today after a successful tasting of 48 items. Kada ste daleko od kuće neko vreme i uhvati vas nostalgija, šta vam najviše nedostaje osim porodice i prijatelja? Mamine punjene paprike, možda sarma, tanjer pasulja? Ok, neka bude da pričam samo u svoje ime, ali hrana baš ume da uteši kad zatreba. Astronauti će se složiti sa mnom sigurno i oni imaju po neki cheat day, jer svi znamo da hrana utiče na naše psihičko stanje. U oskudnim uslovima koje imaju na brodu Međunarodne svemirske stanice imaju priliku da skuvaju nešto što će ih podsjetiti na zavičaj. Samanta Kristoforeti nam je pokazala kako priprema crveni pirinač sa graškom i piletinom. Čuda kombinacija, ali najde da pogledamo. Hello, I'm Isa astronaut Samanta Kristoforeti. Welcome to Node One, the place where we prepare our meals and uh, eat up here on the International Space Station. I would like to show you uh, one of my uh, favorite meals um, up here, which is a chicken turmeric with uh, champignon mushrooms, brown rice and peas. And uh, I would like to try and uh, put the ingredients together for you, uh, see how it works in space. Well, first of all, we don't have a plate. It wouldn't make much sense. So I'm gonna try and use a tortilla instead of a plate. Uh, we have plenty of those um, that kind of handy up here because they don't they don't make crumbles which are a little bit of a problem and then um, i want to make sure that the ingredients stick to the tortilla so i'm gonna start by spreading some peas cream i have already heated um, the food pouches with the ingredients in the food warmer so this is my first ingredient peas um, and this is one of the most important tools up here in space when it comes to the kitchen. 
a scissor to open the food pouch. So I'm gonna spread it on the tortilla. It's kind of hot. <laughs> Next, I will add the brown rice. It's whole rice, it's not refined, so a great source of, of good carbs. Next, I will add some champignon mushrooms. Finally, my chicken with turmeric. There we go. It's not too bad considering that we are in weightlessness. It's pretty yummy to me. Now, together with this video, you will also find a video that shows how to make this recipe in a normal earth kitchen. Um, in fact, I was taught how to prepare this recipe by um, the chef who prepared these space pouches for me, Stefano Polato. And uh, you will find the list of ingredients and all the instructions. So maybe you want to try it uh, in your kitchen, maybe with your family next, uh, next weekend. Um, if you do so, please make sure that you send us a picture or a little video and uh, we'll enjoy watching that. Very good. Ta kološe. Čula sam da Samanta pravi i odličnu kinoa salatu sa suvim paradajzom i skušom i onda sve to zamota u toplu tortilju. Moram i to da vidim.
možemo reći da su dobre, loše i zle. I ne, ne govorimo o špageti vesternu. Pričamo o vrsti masti koje nazivamo lipidi. Često o njima nemamo ništa lepo da kažemo, ali su od suštinskog značaja za naše zdravlje jer smanjuju hroničnu upalu, pomažu u usmanjenju lošeg kolesterola i pomažu u prevenciji kardiovaskularnih bolesti. Da li isti značaj imaju i u svemiru? Pitali smo Samantu Kristoforeti da li ona i ostali astronauti uživaju dobrobitima masti dok su u orbiti. Hello and welcome to Node 1. In the boxes you see here, we keep our food on the International Space Station, and specifically the food that we are currently eating. And in our logistics module, Leonardo, where I was just now, we keep our supplies. We keep them in soft containers like this one, which we call bobs. And this one is a very special bob for me because it contains my bonus food, the food that I chose myself based on my preference and my taste. This one, for example, is one of my absolute favorites. It's quinoa salad with mackerel. Mackerel is a great source of healthy proteins, but also of healthy fats. Those fats that our body absolutely needs to stay healthy and in good shape. On board, we have different kinds of fish, which are great sources of healthy fat. For example, thanks to our Russian colleagues, we have sturgeon. In my bonus food, I also took uh, sources of healthy fats that I can eat for a snack. I love avocado, for example, so I took it in form of guacamole that I can spread on my bread. Or I also love dry fruit, so I have almonds and nuts. And I didn't forget to take olive oil. And uh, I can tell you our rehydrated veggies not only taste a lot better with olive oil, but they're also a lot healthier. So I hope you will uh, put the right rocket fuel into your body, starting with the right types of fat. And remember, eating healthy is not rocket science. Jasno nam je već da astronauti ogladne tokom svog dugog radnog dana na brodu Međunarodne svemirske stanice. Ogladnila sam i ja nakon ovih samantinih recepata. Međutim, nekad samo želimo da zavaramo gladu usputnom užinom. Pretpostavljam da u uslovima mikrogravitacije nije dozvoljeno jesti čips. Ok, šta je to onda što je zdravo, a dozvoljeno jesti na pauzi? Hello and welcome to Node 1, the place on the International Space Station where we have our meals together. And it's also the place we can come mid-afternoon or mid-morning to quickly grab a snack. I'd like to show you some uh, ideas of healthy snacks that we have here on board of the International Space Station. For example, we have plenty of fruit. Most of the time it's not fresh fruit, unfortunately. Uh, we have fruit, for example, this citrus fruit salad in uh, thermostabilized pouches like this one. or Sometimes we have fruit which needs to be rehydrated, like these strawberries. Or sometimes we have fruit that looks just like it would on Earth. For example, this pouch of dried apple, which I like a lot. Seeds and nuts are also great ideas for a healthy snack. Here on board, for example, I have this uh, pumpkin seeds bar. And we also have plenty of nuts. How about, for example, some macadamia nuts? I also have this very special power bar, which was made for me by chef Stefano Polato. And it contains plenty of very healthy, nutritious ingredients, like uh, whole grain cereals, fruits, dry fruit, nuts, seeds, and a special ingredient called spirulina. And chef Stefano Polato will also show us how to make this at home. So snack time is a great opportunity to put the right rocket fuel in your body. And as always, don't panic. Eating healthy is not rocket science. Koliko puta dnevno posegnete za šoljicom kafe? Da li barem jednom pomislite koliko je jednostavno pripremiti taj topli napitak ovde na zemlji? Zamislite da ste na Međunarodnoj svemirskoj stanici, tamo negde u svemiru. Da nemate česmu sa koje će vam poteći voda, mleko, mutilicu koja će vam stvoriti idealnu penu. Astronaut Tim Pick, koji je proveo šest meseci u svemiru kao jedan od članova posade principija misije, pokazao nam je šta je potrebno uraditi u bestežinskom stanju za poneki gutlej kafe. Node 1 is also where we store all our food, so uh, 
on the starboard side we've got all of our food containers and then on the port side we have our drinks containers up here. Let's go find a cup of coffee. So now our coffee packet is filled with nice hot water. We just need uh, a little plastic straw. Insert the straw, take the cap off, and drink. Da li ste čuli za izraz kafa sik teruša? Nije da vas teram, ali vreme je da privodimo kraju ovu epizodu emisije Space Show. Možete vi da skuvate sebi kaficu i ostanete uz program EDU TV-a. Nemam ja ništa protiv. Vidimo se sledeće nedelje.